Welcome to September, everybody. We are back for another uh, sales recap for our Brick Link and Brick Isle store uh, here into the year of 2022. Uh, so this is uh, my first full year of doing this full time. I went full time May 2021. So uh, we'll have a full year of data once this year is over and then I will no longer continue doing these videos. Um, I know it's a sad moment. You know, everyone loves the videos showing how much uh, Lego we can sell out of here, but just the name of the game, uh, whatever that name is, and whatever game that is, selling Lego, and the game, the name, selling Lego. Yeah, they're both the same. Anyway, so welcome to September again. We are, uh, we had a good month, I, I'm pretty sure. I, I, yeah, I just looked at the numbers again, and it was a lot better than the last, um, since well we'll go through the numbers in a minute but first of all i always like to go through the events we're going to be at uh, in the near future go to popsblockshop.com at the bottom of the page we're going to brick world detroit or you call it michigan whatever you want to call it it's in novi uh, michigan um saturday september 24th and sunday september 25th so that is going to be great it's in a different hall it's a smaller one i believe this may be the last year they do it because they're not getting enough attendance um I, I'm gonna recommend they go to Grand Rapids. That'd be cool. I'd like to. I'd like to go there. Have family there, so um, that would be also a great. I think it's a great place there. Um, you may get a lot better uh, support there. I don't. I'm not even sure, but what kind of venues they have. But I'll. I'll get throw the idea out there. I'm sure they probably looked into it already. But yeah, you know, keep one in Michigan. That's that's all I'm hoping for. Uh, Brick World Fort Wayne is two weeks after that, October 8th and 9th. Um, so that'd be awesome again. That's our last like big show of the year. Then we have one more at the mall in November, and I might do one the week after. Also in Green Bay at a convention center there next to Lambeau Field. Just debating on that. Uh, I'll decide that after the Brick World, see if I really feel like doing more, because it's a lot of work, um, things like that. But uh, more events coming in 2023 or 2022, I don't know. So anyway, you're here for the... Um, uh, sales report on our Bricklink and Brick Isle store. That's why I do this video. And um, August expenses, we did pretty well in inventory uh, compared to, well, I guess it's only a thousand, a thousand less, well, actually only 500 less in inventory than July. Uh, June has gotten messed up here. I don't know what happened to this spreadsheet. <laughs> um, but there's an error, so can't see it. Uh, so actually, it wasn't it wasn't too much less than what I've been spending on inventory, but their total expenses were way down, only ten thousand seven eighty eight compared to last month's was thirteen thousand. So you know, paying for the brick worlds, I think both happened in July, which is expensive. Um, office supplies, you know, I bought, I don't know, bought some other stuff that I need. Office supplies was a lot less this 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 past month. I didn't buy any acro mills or any storage or anything. I just bunched it all into one one category for this video. It's not, I know, it's not the exact infrastructure uh, breakdown I could give, but that's just how it is. $462 in fees I paid in August compared to $1,700, but that's, that's the, all the other stuff. So I no longer have to pay a brick packer fee. I don't think there's one. Oh, there was one I paid for June and July in this August, so that was $175. Um, that was the last payment I'll ever make to them for their services. It was awesome. Brick packer worked well. Now I'm on BrickSync, so Thanks to Ralph, again, it's been working great. Um, as far as I know, I mean, I do have inventory er errors here and there. I don't know, it's just hard to know where that came from. You know, it's missed like five parts off here, a couple here, one here. Um, you know, I don't know. It is what it is. So there's our expenses. Lots of Bricklink orders. I did delete my wanted list uh, about a week ago. Uh, it didn't stop me from spending, um, I don't know, 150 bucks today. <laughs> Um, it's just more, I just buy more minifigs from people and I, I go after some rare parts that I really need and it's a good value to buy them to complete things. And then I'll look at their minifigs and buy, you know, 10 to 15 or a few or small poly bags, things like that, that are relatively inexpensive. So, so yeah, it doesn't stop me, but either way we're doing well. It's not, I've not spent that much in September so far and it's or September 6th today. I'm recording this and it'll come out the same day. Um, that I'm recording. So that is our expense report. And then we are here for the spreadsheet of the um, the numbers for the month of August. 
we're in August, right here. So we had a record. We hit 450,000 parts at one point. Uh, we were close to 14,000 lots. I think we were like about 200 away at one point. And then, we, so we sold 31,578 parts. 42,000 parts we added. We had 306 orders, which was almost the same as last month, but the value, uh, I did sell almost a nearly $500 pirate set um, and a couple of really expensive castle sets. So they were less than that, but pr still pretty expensive for, for one set, uh, used set. So I was pretty excited, excited for that. So all in all, it's probably an additional $1,000 in there for those sets I sold. So we would have been about 10000 but I would have spent uh, spent time uploading other things in the set. So, you know, would have sold more of other things. Who knows? Um, so either way, I was very happy with August, how, how the sales really picked up. $31 on average, almost 32 per order. Um, 30 days we were open. I think I was, I mean, I took a vacation at the beginning of the month, but I left it open, so I didn't I didn't subtract any days there. Unless there's 31 days in August, and I don't ever remember that. Um, <clears throat> I'm just going to look. I think there is, yeah. So I just took off one day. And then, so 13.5 orders per day. Um, and Brick Owls, again, Brick Owls picking up. I did change my minimum order to $1 about a month ago from two dollars so it wasn't much of a change but i'm noticing more orders that are you know just under two dollars i mean i'm getting you know a few a week so that did help bring in some more and maybe there'll be more customers to spend more later i don't know um but i did sell like almost double the parts there i over double the parts 7800 parts and the dollar amount was 400 more than last month so it's uh <clears throat> very very good for for what it's been it almost hit the record for Brick Owl, not almost, but $200 off or so um, from from February. So it's, it's it looks like it's picking up, though. It, it dipped way down here, but I was, I don't know if I had vacations where, I've had some vacations. But anyway, either way, we almost had 100 orders and uh, 7,843 parts. So the total, 405 orders for the month of August, which is great. I mean, I cannot complain, keeping me busy. And it's a lot of fun working in a Brickling store if you love to work and you love to be active, which I do. <laughs> um, I guess, I mean, love to work this job. I love to be not being active, doing things. So $12,933. So almost $13,000 in gross sales. And I always have to point this out when I tell people. They, uh, it includes the shipping received on all the orders. They're, they're far from what profit was actually made. So don't, don't look into that too much. So... We almost hit $100,000 in actual sales um, for Brick Lincoln Brick Owl this, 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 uh, this year. So, and uh, so 2,500 orders just on Brick Link alone is great. We're so close to 10,000. It's going to happen in the next seven, eight days, I think, um, to get that or the 10,000 orders on Brick Link. So, that is cool. Uh, so, and our fans on the Brick Link uh, store, 11, 1,100. 71 on september the first or the end of august it was so that went up by 20 some 27 28 numbers uh 1.6k fans still on ebay won't know until it goes to 1.7 what the actual that they went up to 100 and how long it took so it took looks like we're getting about 33 a month uh fans on, on ebay roughly so it might be 1.6 next time and then it'll be 1.7 in october i don't know uh, so 503 visitors to our website, 395 were unique first time visitors, it says. So that is, uh, the, the, that's the report. Um, there's not much else to talk, talk about what have I been doing. I've, I've actually sorted, uh, 15 pounds of mini fig parts of backlog in the last two working days. Not it's, yesterday was Monday, Labor Day. I worked it and then last Friday. So, and then we'd like to look at the eBay store here. For to close it out um, and see what is going on there 53k items sold um, there's not much more to say that's just I oh I hit 2,000 uh, 2,000 listings on Lego on here um, last Friday as well so uh, right now it's at 1900 I think it's just below 2,000 right now I, I'm just rebuilding my, my stuff today and uh, we're getting it up there these guys keep selling I can't believe I still, I still have like two of these left I think I put up 15 of them about three weeks ago, four weeks ago. I'm not sure. But anyway, that's it for the, the recap.
Good luck um, with your Bricklink store. Keep on going. Keep uploading is the hashtag to use. Just keep uploading, and I uh, think good things will happen. Upload quality parts. Definitely want to do that. Um, I did sell um, uh, Pirates of the Caribbean, like, ribcage shark, that rare, really rare shark. because the only one that had it in the United States. It was pretty beat up, but I said I, I put on there it has playware. And then I had to refund the fifteen dollars. I questioned whether I should list it. I should have listed it as heavy playware. So I probably should not have even listed it because somebody was disappointed. They had to contact me. It's like this is more than I would expect it to. So it scrapes all over. Well, yeah, I knew it did, and I listed it had playware. But I don't list much stuff with playware anyway, if I can help it. So just always, you know, never oversell your item. Always undersell it. I should have definitely put heavy playware, deep scratches. That that would have definitely uh, got the point across that this is pretty damaged and I mean it it was good on a couple sides but it, you know there are some bad spots on it. it that person obviously might not have seen it I don't know yeah what the soul story is or what why they would contact me when it said that there was playware but either way I just refunded and moved on and just not gonna list that kind of stuff because it causes disappointment I get disappointed when I get stuff with that it's even listed with playware and I didn't want to buy it uh, I wish Bricklink would have like a highlighted area under each listing where you put the comments so that it's separate from the other words um, of, the, of the actual description of the item. That is definitely, if you're doing any of those feedbacks for Bricklink, I've done it already a couple times, put that in there um, and hopefully they'll change it. So, I don't know. Anyway, that's enough. We'll talk to you on the next one.